Tank Destroyer 11 mission. Be top player by the damage cost and do at least 3000 damage and survive the game. To be fair with you, any tier can work. I would recommend tier 8 plus, even though it's possible to complete it with a lower tier side, but tier 8 is the sweet spot in my opinion, tier 8, tier 9. Uh, in the tier 10, you might compete with uh, a bit sweaty, heavy tanks, you know, and it can be a bit more complicated. But other than that, mission is not a rocket science. A couple of tries and you should uh, be fine with it. I don't really think it matters what tank you are playing with, to be fair with you. And this is how I did it. Fellas, we are ready to play. Are we? We are playing for Tank Destroyer 11, top player by the damage cost, 3000 uh, damage and survive the game. And you know, I decided to play with a higher tier, as I said in the intro, and it happened to be we are playing with a T30. And you know what? Sometimes uh, the best way to do the things is to risk it for the biscuit. I remember at the time I had a pretty good mood. And I decided to go YOLO through the middle. YOLO with a T30 skill, you are not playing T95. Ch -ch 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 Hear me out, fellas. Sometimes YOLO through the middle can work just fine. And what we are doing, we are playing in the casual position, in a very good position, in fact, right there. But you need to have support. And it happened to be that one, two, well, two. Two fellas, two tanks left as our supporters. We appreciate them. Uh, they are absolutely amazing. And Emily is saying uh, he loves us. Oh, Emily. I don't know, my man. I do not know about that. Meanwhile, S1, how are you doing today? Shna in the side. Minus 800 uh, damage for him. Unlucky. Although he happens for the best of us, right? He did not expect to see that one coming. Uh, or I supposed to say he did not saw that one coming. Meanwhile, Jack Tiger spanked us once and you know what? I remember you. I remember you, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go. That's how we are doing this. By the way, fellas, uh, two shots. We are half damage done. This is the main reason why I decided to play with a T30. And with a T30, you can be a tiny touch more aggressive. Meanwhile, same Jack Tiger. I mean, you never learn, do you? Minus 800, we are three quarters done with the mission. Obviously, we need to do uh, a lot of damage as well, right? In order to survive this, uh, in order to complete the mission fully. And obviously, we need to survive the game. But we are feeling completely fine. Meanwhile, S1, uh, I believe the first one wasn't clear for Mr. Carol, and I am flexing a bit. Fellas, I had a good game, okay? I had a good mood at the time. I was dancing, I was chilling, and we were showing the dominance around the battlefield, okay? Can I enjoy myself pretty please? Thank you. Meanwhile, I am predicting this ELC to go around us. At least that's what I thought. That's why I have high explosives loaded. But unfortunately for us, it is not the case. So we are going for the standard ammunition. We are returning to the same position over there. And by the way, this map for tanks like T-30 is absolutely amazing. You do not really need to drive that far. And after that, you can have a great time. Meanwhile... Uh, well, as I, I was, I was, I felt something. I felt a grief for Jet, for Jack Tiger. He spanked me before, so you know, I just needed to spank him back. Beautiful blind shot towards Jack Tiger. By the way, he went back home from the three shots, and he was using hard ring. 2,027 hit points, if I'm not mistaken. Unfortunate for this guy, but that was quite predictable. To be fair with you, all in all, how are you doing? 700. 140 in the face. By the way, fellas, at this point I am feeling um, like I am a bit cornered here, right? I feel like uh, char footers are going to YOLO on me eventually. So at this point I am playing a bit slower and I do not want to overpeak that much, right? I just simply want to be smart. And I am aware of the battle happening um, behind us. I see phase one. I see a uh, concept. I know I assume and CDC is defending us. We are feeling completely fine. At this point, all we need to do, we need to look uh, in front. That's about it. And in the same situation, I was even considering to go 
more backwards just to check out how the things are looking like. And now, greedy, greedy, greedy mother trucker. I picked sideways, I took one for the team from the Sioux, and in this kind of situation, Sioux said, uh, I have a feeling this is what he said, and I am feeling like I'm becoming a bit uh, too greedy in this game, fellas. This is how am I looking into this, and this is what I feel. And whenever you are feeling like you are becoming greedy, this is not very good thing. Meanwhile, speaking about the greediness, so he had no clue I could see his uh, his front, I believe. Anyways, at this point, fellas, once again, I am down to two shotable for a Mr. Char footer. Yes, some people are going just to, you know, uh, just to kill someone in front, especially when the situation is 9 to 3. So now we are going to be a bit smarter. We are just simply going to wait until this guy will come for us. If he won't come for us, who cares? We have our 3.6 thousand damage. It's very unlikely someone did more than us. And remember, we have a blind shot towers Jack Tiger, right? And Jack Tiger had like 6-700 hit points left. So we are feeling very, very confident. But in the same time, we do not want to die. Skill why don't want to die, you pussy. Listen, I need to survive in order to complete the mission with a second condition and whenever I'm playing for missions I want to complete them with a secondary right this is how I am looking into this and that's what I want to do meanwhile let's go in front look at this you see the Emil Lem Emil in the start of the game said he loves us there is no way he is going allow us to die right going in front trying to shoot with high explosives unfortunate fellas very very unfortunate but what can you do i thought i can actually penetrate him and uh, uh, i truly thought marker showed green but eh what can you do anyways can we spank him for one more time pretty please pretty please pretty please pretty please and yes sir for solid 200 damage and I'm thinking don't you dare to kill me don't you dare to kill me skill why you were shooting uh, I am not going to comment this. As you can see, my bodyguards arrived. Pantera and Emil uh, with raised PPs. And yeah, as you can see, I had a great day and I definitely enjoyed myself. And I said, thanks, boys. You know, uh, my bodyguard saved my life again. Thank you very, very much. A good game overall. Good mood, I would say. Gotcha, big man. Oh, you see, that's a team play. Beautiful. Anyways, looking into all of this, what we managed to craft in this game and what kind of score do we have? Um, we have 4.8 thousand damage, right? Since we blind shoot at that Jack Tiger, uh, we got a bit of assisting damage up. So yeah, great game overall. Speaking about that, who is stopped by the damage? Obviously, it is us, right? Uh, the second guy by the damage was Concept 1B, who had our back from the very first moment of the battle. Overall, beautiful score, and I am super uh, happy about this. Speaking about the profits, we made 21,000 profits even after we paid for uh, ammunition and um, consumables and everything. Anyways, fellas, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, and keep this in mind. You can take uh, the tanks which has a bit more of the armor or alternatively uh, turret. Uh, and you can complete this mission in a way easier or maybe not easier, but a bit faster, I would say. Because if I would play this game with a waffle, there is no way in the world I would play uh, this aggressively with a waffle as I could play with a T-30, right? Anyways, thank you very much for everything. Skill is out for today. Peace.